Canine is, is probably the best job on the department, but it is the most time intensive. An officer and his canine are together 24-7, on the job and at home. We know each other inside and out, and we know what to expect from each other. But there comes a day that these four-legged officers have to hang up their leash and vest. Dogs take a beating, both at training and on the street, getting in and out of cars, fighting with suspects. Because of medical reasons and age, canine officers Zeus and Cash are headed into retirement. He uh, is going to live a good life and probably annoy a lot of my wife and my kids when they're at home when I'm at work. He's going to be a house dog. I think he's mentally ready. He wants to stay at home, hang out with the wife and kids. Oh boy. In their place, the department is welcoming on two new recruits. As a training coordinator, I got to learn what the dog is good at and then put that aside and only do that a little bit because the dog's already good. We got to find out where they're weak and then learn how to bring them up. Sergeant Jake Noltze is zeroing in on canine officers Red and Riggs. And then begin the area search. As well as their new handlers, Jenny Probasco and Luke Peterson. The new team members are back in Sioux City after spending five weeks in Sheridan, Iowa. We had 290 hours of training. Um, it was everyday training. It was uh, building searches, obedience, tracking, um, detection on vehicles and buildings. We basically hit all the basics and now just working from there, getting the dogs a little more prepared for the streets. A total of four dogs make up the Sioux City Police Department's canine unit. And every Monday night for four hours, the team comes together to work on skills. We'll take uh, everyday items like keys or pieces of leather, we'll throw them out to the grass, the dog will go find those as items of evidence. We'll grab a car, put hides on the car. The handler may know it's there, he may not. He has to say, yes, the dog indicated. No, the dog did not. We'll say, okay, you're good. Move on to the next vehicle. If a dog is struggling with obedience, tracking, detection, bite work, or evidence recovery, the handlers step in to help provide no. extra training. So every day I'm going to be doing training with him, whether it's just a little bit of obedience here and there, um, but I'm always going to train with him. It's, it's even just integrating it in the home life with family and other dogs that I have, so just integrating with them is a 24-hour thing, let alone the just carrying that training little by little. The canines are a tool for the officers. Knowing when and how to use them is key to unlocking success. Obviously, their tracking abilities we can't do. Obviously, their detection we can't do. Their indication on building searches, they're just safer to have in a building search than just having people go in. So they're a very important tool, and the more we can get, the better. As Riggs, Red, and their handlers grow, so will their ability to help keep Sioux City streets safe. To get as much narcotics off the street as possible and to make sure that uh, everybody goes home safe. That is our ultimate goal. Just. Oh, ow, ow.